Hello, I'm ICR Tiger from thetradingtigers.com. Today I'm going to be showing to you a potential trade setup on the Australian US dollar um, on the 23rd of April using Ichimoku strategy plus also using tools off thetradingtigers.com. So, before we start, please do go through this uh, hypothetical performance. Um, disclaimer first, stop the video. Uh, read at your own leisure and also go through the hypothetical performance. Okay, fine. Let's kick it off then So first thing um, I did um, To get this potential trade set up um, Our tool that we have developed the trading tigers We've developed a tool which alerted me on the one hour chart because I wanted to take a trade on the one hour chart was saying that there was a trade set up um, for a bearish for Australian dollar uh, against the US dollar. That was the step one. Step two then, I went to the MTFA tool, the multi time frame analysis tool, which is totally free on the tradingtigers.com um, website. As you can see, www.thetradingtigers.com. Scroll down, and therefore you will see the multi time frame analysis tool. I type in there Aussie USD, right, and I can see as tool one had actually alerted me that there is a bullish, uh, sorry, a bearish sentiment against the Australian dollar against the US dollar, right. For me to take this trade on the one hour chart, I would like to see the four hour is also bearish. So therefore, as we use this MTFA tool, it needs to be like a lock everything needs to be in precision in the right positions and therefore we can shoot and fire our gun and make the trade happen unfortunately it's not that's right it's not the four hour is bullish the daily is bullish the weekly is bearish uh, together with the one hour 30 and 15 minutes bearish so consideration for taking a, a 30 minute um, entry as a bearish uh, move uh, for the Australian uh, US uh, dollar. So I've already got my um, uh, alerts uh, in my mind and my idea of where I'm going to be going. I want the trend to be on my side and currently on the 1531 hour the trend is on my side for a bearish move to enter on a 30 minute right and um, <clears throat> We'll, we'll have a look at the charts and see what the charts are telling us. Right, so here's the one hour chart as what I was saying to you, um, but we would need the four hour to be also playing ball with us, meaning to be on the bearish move. Um, so the, 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 the one hour, as we can see, price is below the cloud, below the uh, Kijusan. Kijusan is the uh, red line here, <coughs> where my mouse is, apologize for coughing. And uh, Tenkan Sen is the uh, golden line. Price hasn't pushed through there. The Shikau is this uh, dark blue line, and you can see Future Kumo is um, is uh, bearish. Current Kumo is uh, bullish. So when we enter on, when we look at the 30 minute, this is what 30 minute is showing us: some strong bearish sentiment in play, and um, the Shikau has entered into price territory where we're going to see some consolidation now as price is bumping and barraging and, and hindering the Chicago to move to that open space is what we know, know and like to see and as we can see price is <coughs> being forced um, a little bit up now the um, Tenkan Sen is moved crossing up above the uh, Kizu San which is putting our short trade into kind of kind of a um, um, very precarious kind of situation. However, we didn't take and we're not taking a trade just based on um, our two kind of bits of information. We're going to play it as a breakout straight strategy. Price to cross cross down here below this particular move off the 23rd of April at 2 p.m. And when price moves down there, everything else should follow. Um, our stop loss is 58 pips above the Kumo, right? And of course, as price is moving down, 
this um, stop loss also will move down and I think we'll, we should be covered in terms of that that's right I've just moved it to the ask price um, okay fine so let me have a uh, show you um, the 15 minute chart we're not going to be entering on the 15 minute but I'm just showing to you actually what the 15 minute is telling us a lot of consolidation here happening price going into the Kumo um, being pushed with the Tenkan Sen and uh, Kiju Sen squeezing price in between future Kumo doesn't look very strong bullish sentiment um, of course anything can happen it can be a very small one like this year and for the next couple of hours it can just move along um, so if we move to the four hour like I'd like to show you the four hour what we're seeing on the four hour to get a better better understanding that makes it look a little bit more interesting yes four hour is also saying yes future future uh, Kumo is uh, bearish current uh, Kumo is uh, bullish and we're looking probably at 24th yeah up to the 24th 25th 29th is all looking a little bit uh, um, bearish so we can expect that probably our potential move to the downside can occur price currently now for um, the four hour chart is below the Tenkan Sen and Kiju Sen right we could even consider this as a um, ultra conservative strategy in terms of all the signals are showing us this potential kind of trade setup uh, Shikau is well below its uh, current price and in open space um, price is below the um, Kumo below the Tenkan Sen not too far away from Tenkan Sen and Kiju Sen and if we have a look current price is within the parameters of 49 pips because usually it should be 200 and 300 for Tenkan Sen and Kiju Sen respectively um, and then we would have to wait for it to equilibrium so um, we're looking in terms of a bearish sentiment if we want to have a look at the daily chart we can pop to the daily chart and just have a look and see what what is price saying over here and the price is way above that's right way above but we're playing this based on our strategy on a 30 minute so a 15 minute 30 minute one hour or all bearish we're looking for a short move make some money and get out the market right that's right so let's move to our 30 minute chart 30 minute chart 30 minute chart here we go this is our 30 minute chart and that's what we're looking for uh, we're looking for a price to enter at short side 92.65 with the stop loss at 93.23 that's a 58 pip move um, and that's it so um, I'm ICR Tiger from thetradingtigers.com thank you